canine officers don't just help police. Uh, recently, you may remember that this canine made headlines for helping to take down ISIS's leader. The canine's name has not been released, but people have started calling him classy, short for classified. So with that dog's heroic actions, we wanted to know what goes into training a working dog like this. So with us this morning, we have Eric Innes. He's with Coastline Canine. Good morning to you. And he's Good got morning. his buddy Kono with him, who's just lounging on the Fox 4 couch. So, you know, you have served in special ops. You train canines. What is so special about these dogs and what goes into training them for this kind of stuff? Because when you hear they're taking down ISIS leaders, they're a big deal. No, absolutely. So with this breed, they're Belgian Malinois. Okay. And so they are a sleeker, more intelligent, faster uh, dog with less health problems than the traditional German shepherds and things that we've seen before. So with their mental acuity and their athleticism, they are essentially like professional athletes of the dog world where we can implement them in anything needed from detection to service dog to apprehension or very complex tasks needed in special operations. So, you know, when you think of training uh, any kind of dog, obviously there's time that goes into it, but when you're thinking about this kind of really detailed stuff, does this take a long time? Do you have to start when they're babies? How does that work? Yeah, absolutely. So when you get to dogs like we've seen here in the news lately, it's a few year process and they're started and selected before their eyes are even open. Oh, wow. With mental test, uh, stability, and then all the little traits that we're looking for as trainers and the little nuances, like selecting a professional athlete for some type of organization, um, we need a very specific um, dog to fulfill that role, not any dog will do. Okay, and so, you know, when you think of dog training, just our viewers at home probably think of commands, right? Things that you would say to them. Right. Is it the same type of thing when you want Kono to do something specific? Do you say a certain word? I don't want to say any words, yeah. just in case it's his, you know, go word or whatever, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of times we use uh, single or double syllable words to keep it short, okay. simple, sweet to the point so that they can understand and process what we're asking them. Mm -hmm. um, they can come with a multitude of, of words and they have their own language between handler and dog so they can communicate. Because if you think about it, we're not even the same type of species, right. but somehow we have to communicate from human to dog to be on the same level uh, playing field, sure. to do all these different complex tasks for them to understand what we're asking them. Okay, so obviously um, this type of dog, the Belgian Malinois, is that right? Did I correct. say it correctly? Correct, correct. This is the type of dog, again, that took down um, the ISIS leader recently, but would this be a good dog to maybe have at your house? He, Kono seems so loving, very well behaved, hanging out on the couch with us. Uh, good guard dog, what's their temperament? So that's a great question. With these dogs, with the proper training, they can do anything you want. Okay. However, with the different roles, they're amazing protection dogs, He's just uh, which is what we do. Cool. We do family protection dogs here at Coastline Canine. Okay. Um, but when they're younger... Who's this? <laughs> Oh, is this your dog, Julian? This is uh, one of our coworkers' dog. Oh my gosh, the same type of breed. Yep, same. Are you cute or what? This is just the baby version. Oh, uh, however, that's a baby. You you say he's cute now, yeah. but in the beginning, they can be a handful. So, we don't recommend just for somebody that's looking for a uh, lazy little couch potato. Right. Um, they are very active dogs, as you can see. Yeah. So, if you are looking to get into a breed like this. We do ask that you do seek professional help as they are a high caliber dog um, and they do need a lot of energy, they need a lot of attention and they need a lot of structured training okay. for them to come out to be a high caliber dog like Kono or the other dogs that you see in adult version. Okay. Um, that takes years of professional training to accomplish that. And Julian, what's his name? Shaq. What is it? Shaq. Shaq, oh, well Shaq is being such, it's a boy, right? Being such <laughs> yeah. a good little boy. So thank you, Eric, with Coastline Canine. Thank you, Shaq. Thank you, Kono. He's taking a little break right now, touching up on his powder. We'll be uh, obviously having this information on our website if you want more information and training non-military dogs. The website is coastlinecanine.com. Eric's contact information is also on the screen right now. Again, we'll have all of this for you on fox4now.com. Thanks, guys.